Trial for the two suspects charged with the 2017 murder of Telma Boyneville has been delayed again. The case has already been pushed back dozens of times. Jen Boniza reports on the reason for the latest delay. The murder trial for Stephen Brown and Haley Danderand is now set for January 2023, pushed from its October start date. The suspects are accused of murdering Telma Boyneville on December 7, 2017. The only witness, Boyneville's daughter, who was eight years old at the time. Several family and friends of Telma Boyneville were in court but did not want to talk on camera. They tell me that they're frustrated and that it's unfair to them and to Boyneville's daughter that the trial keeps on getting delayed. And they say it feels like the defendants have more rights than they do. Brown's new attorney, William Bagasol, asked the judge to delay so he could adequately prepare. I am going to grant the continuance, but I'm going to continue it to January. Former State Attorney General Doug Chin says the court knows how important resolving the case is to the victim's family, but their priority is ensuring the defendant's right to a fair trial is protected. If a defendant has a new lawyer, then um, they have uh, a reason to be able to say to the judge, look, we need more time to be able to prepare. During Thursday's hearing, the judge also considered motions to dismiss comments the co-defendants made during their arrests. The defense claims they're inadmissible because Brown and Dandurant were not read their rights. Did Ms. Dandurant say anything to you while you waited with her at the field show off? She said, um, Officer, you may as well pull out your gun and shoot me. After today, my life is over. According to officers who testified at today's hearing, Brown made similar comments, telling them to, quote, just shoot me. One exception to uh, those Miranda rights would be if they're, the defendants are just saying something spontaneous or if they're not in custody or if they're not actually being asked a question by law enforcement. The judge is expected to rule on this Tuesday when the hearing continues and will also address Brown's request for a separate trial. If granted, Chin says, it's likely the trial date will get delayed again. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.